Hey guys, this is Kelly, and I'm going to try to bring you some Elder Scrolls Online action this evening. I did uh, pre-order uh, Elder Scrolls Online, so I'm able to get the uh, five-day early access. And with the new channel that I'm going with here, I thought uh, playing around with some stuff, like I said, I'm hoping to maybe, maybe make Mondays my gameplay uh, uh, video days, so... We'll see how that goes, but uh, anyway, tonight uh, we're going to start with uh, uh, Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. I uh, think I'm going to try to keep these, you know, kind of short, not real long. So probably we'll just go through the creation, which I'm not going to go into detailed character creation, and uh, we'll probably go through the dungeon, see how long that takes, uh, the 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 starting dungeon, and see how that goes. Uh, see how long it takes might go a little further just depends, but I hope you guys enjoy uh, The the gameplay tonight and let me know what you think uh, if you like it and uh, we'll try and see if we can't uh, Keep a few more of these videos going anyway But without further ado, we're gonna get right on into the game here and I'm wanting to create this character that I'm gonna play here is gonna be a magic user I think we'll make him a, a sorcerer uh, so I'm going to go with uh, High Elf. Uh, the two magic, uh, two best for magic is Breton and High Elf. I wanted to go with the High Elf because um, basically uh, down here it says increasing their damage with destructive spells and increasing their rate of regaining magicka. Uh, with Elder Scrolls Online, um, you're not really restricted to really anything. You can choose any class, anything, and you can whatever you decide to do I mean you can you can go with a Bosmer and, and make him a tank if you want to <laughs> so it's no big deal there uh, now I did like I said I did get the uh, the pre-order so I can actually play any uh, any race with any faction but I'm just gonna go ahead and play with the Aldmeri Dominion since I am playing with a um, high elf so let's get on with this now um, also, uh, with the character name that I'm going to choose, uh, there is an app that's been released for the uh, iOS, well, iPhone mainly. I do have it on my iPad, but of course it's an iOS app, so it's rather small. But it's a name generator for the Elder Scrolls Online. And I don't want to sit here and try and go through a bunch of my favorite characters, trying to find one that no one's taken yet. So I just went on here and I got... Uh, uh, the app and I figured I would just go with it so this is a generated name by the uh, Elder Scrolls Online app on the iOS okay we're gonna go with the Aldmeri Dominion I'm picking a high elf and now let's go to class I am going to choose the sorcerer class and just for so you can see over here you got novice gear the veteran gear this is what the veteran gear will look like I guess later on in the game and then no gear so that way when we get to the, the customization over here the body uh, so you can play around with this you can make him thin large muscular or somewhere in the middle and I think because he is a magic user, we'll probably go a little bit more on the thin side. And once again, guys, like I said, I'm not really going to do any major customizations here because I want to keep this short. But And plus, I, I'm sure that that would bore you guys to tears. So uh, I'm just going to scroll down through here. You can see the different things that you can do. If you're the type of person that really likes to do a lot of customizing, especially really make the character your own, they really do offer a lot of stuff. I mean, the different things you can change here and customize. All that stuff there. Like I said, this is all the body here. Uh, they do have, like, see, here's body marking. There's another reason why you go to no gear. You can check out, uh, like, there's, look like liver spots or something all over them. Uh, then we'll start getting into some tattoos and some scars and different things like that. So... You know, depending on how you want to make your character look, you even have those options. But I'm just going to go with nothing. Also, here with the face, 
get a close up of the face. Once again, you can change, you can even change the voice. I think I'm just going to go with that one. Uh, but you do have quite a few that you can choose from. You can go with the hairstyle. Once again, I'm just going to keep everything. But all the different, here's a few different things once again. I mean, it's quite a lot of customizing you can do if you really want to do so. As you can see, quite a bit. Wow, there's way more on the head here than there is on the rest of the body. All right. So once you're happy with uh, all the customizations you've made, you've entered in your name, just hit, or also you can randomize the appearance. Click that, it'll randomize everything. Now, if there is something that you have changed and you don't want it to change, but you want to rest randomize the rest of the character, then you just click these locks over here. That'll lock that in, and then you can hit randomize. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and create. Now, because I have played through, as you can see this here, I do have the option of skipping the Wailing Prison, but I'm not going to. We're going to play through it so that way you guys can see that part. And then, uh, like I said, once we get through that, depending on how long this takes, uh, I may play a few more minutes, show you a little bit after the prison. Uh, but we may just do the this part here and the prison, and we'll go from there. So we're going to go ahead and play it. see it the prison just like all Elder Scrolls games here it's basically kind of to give you a way to how learn how to use this can you move yes I can I'm moving around slowly now you've been through an ordeal Take a few moments to collect yourself. What's happening? Who are you? Like you, I am a prisoner in this place. Yet so much more. I am the past and the future. Both. I am despair and hope. The tapestry we weave is a complex one. You cannot hope to see its pattern in its entirety. Not yet. What do you want from me? You must rescue me, and I, in turn, must rescue you. You must escape from this cell, take up arms, and protect yourself. Then find Lyris Titanborn. Lyris Titanborn? Who is that? I don't understand. Apparently he's not going to answer that part. You there! We are escaping! Let me open your door! That's it! Thank you, quickly! Master. You must escape before the guards Through return! Here. Everyone, quickly! Old shifter. Quickly! Sprint. Follow Urgesine. There are weapons in the forge beyond these cells. Arm yourself. Because we have chosen a magic user, once again, like I said, you can do anything, even though you've chosen to play a magic user. I can choose a sword, a bow, a mace, or anything, but. I'm going to stick with what I created and grab the stack. Grab something to defend yourself. Don't be greedy. We have a lot of prisoners to arm. There we go. Yes, I'm going to take it. As you can see over here is a mace. Sword and shield there. I think that's all that you can choose from right here. All right. Can I talk to you? Don't stop now. Keep moving. More guards are on the way. What are you doing out here? Like you, I am escaping this place. But since I have been here for some time, the tall one asked me to help the newer prisoners find their way. Those who are captured will be flayed. Sadly, that will not end their torment. Soul Shriven cannot die. Tall one? The half-giant, Lyris Titanborn. She leads this uprising. I do not know how or why she is here, but to the Soul Shriven, she is a gift from the Divines. Okay, what's soul-shriven? We are the vestiges of people whose souls were stolen by 
the god of schemes. I dare not utter his true name in this place. The soul shriven are doomed to slavery in Cold Harbor for eternity, or at least until we are no longer useful. Do they all look like you? The longer we remain here, the less whole we remain. Our bodies waste away, our skin shrivels, and eventually our minds twist and lose any notion of reality. The oldest of the soul shriven are completely insane. We call them ferals. Are these ferals dangerous? Oh yes, the lesser Daedra actually fear them. Ferals have no fear of pain or death, because that is all they know. That and eternal hunger. They will attack and eat anything they can get their claws on, even each other. Why don't I look like the rest of you? You will. You are a new arrival, yes? The newly arrived have more free will, more fighting spirit. But that won't last. It never does. In time, uncounted years perhaps, you will become Pharaoh. It is the fate that awaits us all, eventually. Is there anything else you can tell me? Much more. But there is no time. You must keep moving if you want to survive. Go now. Goodbye. As you can see here, these are all these people right here. Nope, those are soul shriven. Never mind. Thought maybe those might be some of the other online people. We will see them. Come on, I'm hitting the button. I want it open. Taking it. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. Forgot one important detail. Got to equip the weapon first. There we go. As you can see, give you instructions on how it works. Exit. Exit. Now, let's see if it'll let us through the door. How about that? All directions. An enemy work. approaches. Strike it down. Decision becomes decision. Okay, let's hear it. All right. Now I did play Magic User in the uh, the beta, and I don't remember it being that weak. Another enemy blocks the path ahead. Dispatch it quickly. Yeah. Interrupt magical attacks. Okay, I messed up. Yeah. Ah. Whoa there. Yeah, I'm Are still learning right? some stuff too, guys. <laughs> I'm just playing it for a little while now. Come on, why won't it let me? I'll do that in a minute. I want to. There we go, finally. I've actually noticed that there are some uh, issues today, I guess, because it's opening day. Uh, some of the key commands I'm hitting aren't always uh, responding right away. Okay, we have one attribute point because we have leveled up. Uh, let's go ahead and put it at health for now. But we're going to concentrate on health and magicka. Uh, so we'll have one point. That's going to do it. So we'll commit the points. And then now it allows us to choose our character skills. And because I chose the Sorcerer class, these are the class skills that I can choose from. So dark Magic, Deckard Summoning, and Storm Collar. So dark Magic. The only thing I've unlocked so far is Crystal Shard. It does 37 magic damage to enemy and knocks down for 2 seconds. Okay, what's Deckard Summoning do for me? Summons a familiar to attack enemies. Toggle to activate reduces max magic by 10%. Okay, Storm Calling does. Does 10 shock damage. Explodes for an additional 35 shock damage. Target falls below 20% health within 4 seconds. The explosion does 7 shock damage to enemies within a 4 meter radius of the target. Decisions, decisions. I'm 
unstable from here. <laughs> Try Mage's Fury for now. So we'll go ahead and choose that one. And eventually, you know, as we get more uh, skill points, uh, also as it says here, it's it's uh, press one to use the ability. So if we're in combat, press the one key and it activates that. Uh, but as we get more shards, we'll be able to unlock more stuff here. But you also, as you see, you can do weapons like here's a destruction staff, which I probably should have done that one anyway. But uh, then you got armor, you got racial, which is high elf skill, because these are things we can do later. Ah, something else I definitely need to unlock. And then, of course, the crafting. Ah, but that's going to do it for now, so let's meet up with Lyris here. You've got more meat on your bones than most of these poor bastards, and I see you've armed yourself. Good. I hope you've still got some fight left in you. You're going to need it. Just who a fellow are you? prisoner. The name's Lyris. There's Titanborn. I was told to find you. What? Who told you to find me? Some ghostly dude. A strange figure appeared in my cell. An old man in rags. The prophet. He spoke to you. What did he say? He said our fates are intertwined. Ha! That sounds like the prophet, all right. He's a prisoner here too. It was very dangerous for him to speak to you, even for a moment. You must think you can help me. I can still hear his voice in my head. What does he want me to help you do? Break him out, of course. Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. That blind old man is the only person alive who can help us get back home. Tamriel's a long way from here. I'll help you. Okay, guess I gotta leave. mine it oh yeah this is cool too see we're in first person here but you can also play in third person and then you can really shoot pull the camera way back if you want to ah because of other elder scrolls games actually in first person when i'm roaming out in the wild though we made it i'll go into third okay so what uh oh open the map okay so i've got these two points we've got to get two Right here with her. Got to talk to her. Looks like. Come. The sentinels are at the top of those towers. We need to find a way up. What are these sentinels? Magical constructs created by Molag Bal to guide his vision in Cold Harbor. The sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will be blinded. With any luck, that will buy us the time we need to free the Prophet. How can we destroy it? I have no idea. Brute force. We'll find a way. We have to. Let's Be ready for anything. Oh, I doubt Molag Ball left the Sentinels unguarded. Well, let's go then. Play this through a few guys, a few times though, guys. Right, <laughs> I haven't actually expected it.
Quickly, while he's blinded, we must get to the Prophet's cell. A god of brutality knows of your escape. Hurry! I'm trying. So far, guys, like I said, I have played this, uh, the beta. And I've really enjoyed it. And this is my first experience with a uh, multiplayer online game. Well, other than Call of Duty. But now I haven't, uh, I didn't get to play a lot during the beta, so I didn't really get to level my character up really high, so I never did get to play in the, uh, uh, the battles, the major battles for the realm. So, that is... wagging tongue. The door's warded. We'll never get in this way. So what? Damn it. Destroying the Sentinel must have triggered these wards. We'll need to find another way in. Maybe Cadwell can help us. Right, Cadwell is the oldest of the Soul Shriven. After years of torment, Soul Shriven usually go insane and turn feral. But not Cadwell. He was already insane before he left Tamriel. Mad as a box of frogs, but completely harmless. You'll see. How can a madman possibly help us? Cadwell sees things as he wishes them to be. To him, Cold Harbor is a wondrous place. It's his home. And he knows it like the back of his hand. He's usually down by the river. Let's go find him. Down by the river. Let's find this cabin. One fine day in the middle of the night. Hello, what's this? Out for a stroll then? Like Lovely right. day for it. You must be Cadwell. Sir Cadwell, yes indeed, a pleasure. And fair Lyris, good to see you, my dear. How are you then? I'm trying to get inside the prophet's enclosure, the door is sealed. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, that is inconvenient, isn't it? Tell you what, I happen to know another way in. Much more of a scenic route. Rather a fun little jaunt, actually, full of traps and corpses and nasty beasties filling up the bits in between. How do we get through all of that? Rather cautiously, I expect. Watch your step. Hold your nose and do mind the traps. The like as not be a fair dose of running and skull bashing as well. Where's the entrance? Follow the river. You'll find the door to the undercroft at the water's end. Once you're inside, stick to the light and you'll find a ladder that will take you right up to the prophet straight away. Do give him my best. Hey, thanks. Best of luck. Do check in now and again, won't you? Tell me about yourself, Sir Cadwell. Well, there's not much to tell, is there? It's the same old pish-tosh, gallant knight, epic quests, rescued maidens. <laughs> I came to this land when my head was quite unceremoniously separated from my body. Bad luck, that, but uh, you make the best of things. How long have you been here? Oh, quite a long time. In fact, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if I was the oldest of the soul shriven. Of those who didn't go fear all, that is. I know every tunnel and path, every nook and cranny. The others look up to me, I suppose. And how do you know Lyris? Ah, Lyris. Girls as mad as sheer gorus jammies. Heart's in the right place, I suppose. Says she's got to rescue the Prophet to save us all from eternal torment. How an old blind man could do that is quite beyond me. What do you know about the Prophet? An Imperial gentleman. Apparently he was once a powerful mage, but the years haven't been kind. Lyris says he knows of a path back to Tamriel. I rather think that if one existed, I'd have found it by now. You don't think there's a way to get home? I hadn't actually given him much thought. Uh, anything's possible, I suppose. Truth is, I've been here so long, this place feels like home. But a good uprising now and again is a pleasant diversion, so where's the harm, eh? Okay, goodbye. Alright, so... We're here to the river. Actually, it's taking longer than I expected it to. We're already at about 25 minutes, guys. So try to get through here real quickly. Uh, the benefit of actually going through the dungeon here is the fact that 
there are chests. Uh, kind of strolled along the way. And urns and different other things that you can look through. Uh, sometimes you might actually find some armor. Uh, or a weapon. Nothing major. But it does help. Oh wow, so when you sneak, you actually see the traps. I didn't notice that before. But anyway, like, you know, uh, uh, some of the urns and treasure chests and things like that, you can get some weapons and, and armor in here. Oh, and of course, lockpicks. And that helps you out, you know, along the way. Instead of trying to have to buy something once you get out, because you're not going to have a whole lot of money once you get out of here. You can see so far it's just a bunch of junk we're finding. Oopsie, there we go. Iron Greaves. Let's go into our inventory. We got some armor now that we can put on. So let's put these Iron Greaves on. I know that heavy armor is not conducive to a mage type character, but right now I would rather have something than nothing. So we'll put this stuff on for now. And hopefully find us some more mage type stuff later. Or once we get out and have a little bit of money, I can buy some stuff. And this, some of this stuff though, like, you know, the drippings and the pork and brawl, things like that. I'll go ahead and collect it, but I can't remember, but I think some of it... You don't get uh, you don't get any money for. But I can't remember, so I just kind of take everything and then I'll sort it out later. But once again, like I said, you do have the option to, once you've been through the the prison once, you have the, what was it? Oh, no, there we go. Told to resurrect, and seems resurrect who? Must be somebody over that way. Iron Axe. Don't think I'll use axes or anything, but at least it's something that I can sell when I get out. Because you do get to carry this stuff with you outside of the prison. It goes with you. There we go. The Prophet's Cage should be just ahead. Quickly now, we haven't much time. Now this room, the next room that I'll be going into, uh, there's these urns and things everywhere. Most of it's just a bunch of chunks, so for the second time, we should be around. All right. The good news is we made it here in one piece, and the Prophet looks unharmed. Now the bad news. It's going to be up to you to keep him safe and get him back to Tamriel. I'm not going with you. What do you mean, you? Where are you going? 
probably should have mentioned this before, but it never seemed like the right time. There's a trick to opening the cell. The only way for a prisoner to leave is for another living soul to take their place. I need to swap places with the Prophet. Don't do this, Lyris. There must be another way. Believe me, I wish there was, but I don't see anyone else here with a beating heart, do you? If Molagbal isn't stopped, he'll destroy everyone and everything we've ever loved. The Prophet chose you for a reason. Get him to safety. I'll be fine. I'll keep him safe. There are magical locking devices on either side of the cage. You need to deactivate both of them so I can begin the transfer. Once it's done, get moving. The Prophet will know where to go, but he'll need your eyes and your protection. I understand. Good luck. I give myself that the prophet might be free! Thank the divines you are safe. There is that at least. Lyris sacrificed everything that we might go free. Her sacrifice must not be in vain. Can we find a way to take her with us? I wish that were possible, but I promise you, once we escape Cold Harbor, we will find a way to rescue her together, Vestige. Vestige? That is the name I have given you. You are but a trace of your former self, a soulless one, an empty vessel that longs to be filled. It is as the scrolls foretold, but not exactly as I imagined. Why does Lyris call you the prophet? That is what I've come to be called. My true name is lost, even to me. Years of torment have taken their toll. Quickly now, we must make haste to the anchor. The anchor? The anchors are Daedric machines of the darkest magic. Their chains bind our world and pull it towards Cold Harbor. I can use one of these anchors to return us to Tamriel, but you must lead me to it. All right, stay close then. different monster every time I fall from here. The first couple times I played, it was uh, like a big monster.
uh, back on the eastern end, like I didn't know or something, you know, maybe you lean to one side or the other, but you try to steer the character in the car or something driving. The Dark Angus portal is high above us. I will prepare a spell to lift us to it. But first, you must reattune yourself to Nern in order to regain your physical form. To do this, you will need a Sky Shard. What are you talking about, Willis? A shard of ethereal magicka that carries the essence of Nern, some linked into Lorcan, the missing god of creation. If you collect and absorb its power, it should restore your corporeal form. I will summon one of these shards for you to absorb. I'm already. Summon away. Shard of Aetherius, fall upon us now and anoint us with your blessing. There, quickly, collect the sky shard. Ooh, Great no. Akatosh, dragon god of time. Your children are lost in the fog between worlds. They cry out for mercy. Hear my voice, Akatosh. I require your strength. Let the way be opened. Let these wandering souls return home. Let the will of Molog Baal be denied. Okay, now that's what he does. We so must go now. He jumps out there. So I did the same thing a while ago. <laughs> uh, that was wrong. I died. See, you gotta use the E key. Danny Johns, how about that? Well, guys, we are at 37 minutes. I uh, do believe that I am going to call it quits once we get uh, out of the prison here. Uh, otherwise, it's gonna go a lot longer. And this is way longer than I really expected it to go. The vestige awakens once again. Come here. We must speak. Don't talk to me again. As I feared, we arrived in different locations. I am in a city near the sea in a land of eternal space. The air smells of the ocean and of markets and gardens. It matters not. You have awakened once again, and we must set you on your path. How long was I unconscious? Days, weeks, I cannot tell. The voyage between worlds disrupted all sense of time and space. I know only that you were deposited into the sea, and some charitable soul fished you out and brought you to dry land. What should I do now? I'm afraid you'll have to decide that for yourself. I must focus on searching for a way to repay Lyris's bold sacrifice. I cannot simply abandon her to the wrath of Molag Ball. When will I see you again? I cannot foresee that, not yet. But we will meet again. There is still much we need to accomplish. I have collected a sealed urn. This rusty urn clearly originated in Cold Harbor. It has been tightly sealed. Your name is burned into the side. We will call, complete the Be wary, of Vestige. Our very plane of existence is in peril. The threat of Molog Baal looms across all Tamriel, and chaos spreads in its shadow. Danger roams the land and will assume many forms. Do not let it catch you off guard. Where should I go? You must find your own path. But perhaps there is a reason for the place in which you find yourself. Explore. Search for a cause to lend your hand. Join with others. You might even seek out those who rescued you from the sea. The choice is yours. You think there are many who need my help? Indeed. I sense that even now there are good people near you who face grave danger. They need your assistance, should you be willing to give it. To thwart the will of Molog Ball, we must skirmish with evil wherever it rears its head. And there are others who would join me in this? We do not face these troubled times alone. Many shall rise up to fight this tide of darkness. Wherever you go, you will encounter others who share your courage and valor. Help them if you can, 
and enlist their aid if you have need of it. How do I find whoever rescued me from the sea? You were dragged ashore on an island beach. But I sense that you are now aboard a ship in port. Go ashore and seek out the captain of the vessel. Perhaps he or she could point you toward the charitable spirit who was responsible for your rescue. Uh -huh. This question's already been asked even though it's in yellow. So we're going to goodbye. Okay. We are done here. Um, it's not a very big space, so that's empty. Nothing there. Uh, there. Eh, I never read them. I just pick them up to see if I get a skill point from them. Sometimes I do. Okay, well, we're going to stop right here. Let's go back in here. Uh, first, let's go into inventory. And you always get some helpful tips and clues and points to the different things that happen during the game. Uh, let's see. Nothing of help there. Nothing of help there. Let's go to anything. Where is that sealed urn? I can use it. And this is what we get out of it. Sentinel's Lash and Unfinished Tournament Crass. Uh... And of course, it's heavy armor, but we'll take it. Let's go ahead and equip it. Okay. And let's go to. Not journal, sorry. This character. We have this attribute point. I'm going to go ahead and put this one in Magicka. Commit the points. And now let's go ahead and this is the one I want this time. So we're gonna go ahead and Oh, I guess it's already active. Cool. Alright. Well then let's go to weapon and do the destruction staff. Wall of elements and destructive touch. And let's do wall of elements. Okay, we have another skill point. Uh, that's the one we already chose. Okay, what's unlocked here? Increases armor and spell resistance by 105. Ooh, that might be very nice to have. Crystal shard. This might come in handy in a fight, so we're going to go ahead and do this one. Alright. Okay, guys, uh, that's going to do it for this play. Let's play tonight. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, looks like it's going to go about 45 minutes. Sorry, guys, it's went so long. Hopefully, the future ones won't go as long. Uh, but I did want to play through the first uh, dungeon, like I said kind of get y'all a feel of the game uh, see how it plays um, you know basically it's just me playing right here so far uh, but once we get into the game and get out into the world here we'll actually see uh, more of the other players um, so see how that goes and uh, but to me it's like just playing another uh, Elder Scrolls game so I'm enjoying it just to, as a single single player aspect so far but uh, anyway I'm going to call it quits here, guys. I, once again, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, leave comments below. Uh, tell me if you like it, if you don't. Um, and uh, hopefully each week, I'm going to do this weekly. So this character right here, I won't touch again until next weekend. And we'll try and get this up. And uh, I'll record another one for next Monday. But that's going to do it for now. And until next video, guys, see you later.